Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Existence Podcast. I think we're on episode 15 now. Is that right? I think so. That sounds right. Probably. I have no idea. <laughs> I can never remember what episode we're on to be honest, but I'm pretty sure that last episode was episode 14. So now we must be on 15. So I am add Beach that to your and <laughs> we're joined by Purple J, <laughs> SB Gamut. Is it Gamut or Gamut? Gamut. It is Gamut. For all the time that you've been on the server, I've never been able to get it right. <laughs> I'm I just say SB. <laughs> We've got T C Midnight, Telks, and the Mundane. Welcome, one and all, to episode fifteen. Thank you. Thank Glad you. To be here. So before we get into anything here, I just want to congratulate Purple J on finally getting episode two <laughs> completed. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Tell us, Jay, how long has it been since episode one? It has been eight months. <laughs> wow. <laughs> episode one was March 3rd of this year. Wait, so, so your episode one was before the two-year anniversary of existence. Exactly. That's a long time ago. We're nearly hitting that three years. That is a long time ago. <laughs> it's nearly the end of the year, and oh my gosh. You know what? I think that's a pretty good schedule right there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, video video came out. It yeah, it's came really out the week before anniversary four, so... <laughs> Very true. You should have waited to anniversary mm-hmm. five. <laughs> I'll just have one a year. Post before the anniversary. Oh no, you're tuning into R three. R three was basic or well, you could say the catalyst as to why existence exists. For any of you who don't know who he is, he basically was uh, a friend of mine who I'd played on with other servers, um New Zealand servers, and then messaged me one day and said Hey, do you want to make a YouTube series? And I said, well, why don't we start a server? And but a big bada boom existence was born. So I found he, he maybe made one episode every oh, two, three months, if that. I know it left for a while. <laughs> I mean, that's better than me. <laughs> he was <laughs> so elusive, it became a meme, essentially. And, um... Every time he came on the server, he had no idea what was going on. In fact, when did he actually, like, officially leave? TC, can you remember? I thought it was after me, when I started driving. I can't remember. He he was just, uh, it was a joke, essentially. It just became a joke. But, um, yeah. Jay's finally got episode two ready, and it should be releasing during the recording of this podcast. Indeed, 20 minutes <laughs> No. <laughs> well, Jay, is there anything you'd like to, to tell us about your episode two, or should we just wait and see for ourselves? I think you should just wait and see. I like the hype. Coming out what, in 30 minutes? Yes, yeah, sir. We should just make this podcast watching episode two. <laughs> <laughs> Existence react to Jay's second episode. Oh, gosh. The hype <laughs> has just been built up and up and up, and at one point we thought it was never going to happen. Because you said you mm. had episode two, I think, didn't you say you had episode three done? Or planned or something? so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Perhaps, maybe way back when. Way back when. And that's why mm. tomato's a vegetable. Oh wait, he's not here. It's an <laughs> avocado as a fruit. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All right, well, yes, so everyone be sure to go watch Jay's episode two. It'll be already out by the time this podcast comes out. And I can't wait to see it once and for all (laughs) after so long. I hope it lives up to the hype, Jay. No pressure. I hope it does too. All right, but anyway, we kind of just wanted to um, sit down this podcast and talk a little bit more about phase two because we're being in quote unquote phase two for how long now? Since at least six weeks. When did we, was it start of September? No, at the end of September. That's right. Yeah, it would have been the start end. of October. I think. I yeah. just say six weeks cause I've been doing one a week and I'm on episode seven. So. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Oh, actually, here we go. One month ago was when we had the announcement anyway. Uh-oh. Nice. It's on full screen, oh. and I didn't use it. There we go. You might have heard my voice for a teeny tiny second in the podcast. Uh, October 16th is when I posted the um, announcement video, so it would have been a week or so before the Yeah, so start of October, and now it's nearly end of November, so we, yeah, six weeks. We'll say six weeks, which is what we all agreed on anyway, but I'm just rambling now. <laughs> Um, but how's it going? <laughs> Cause I think it's been going like in the sense of behind the scenes, it's been going pretty well in terms of, I think of, I got an like, idea of everything that's broken. What do you mean broken? Uh, mob farms that quit working because of what changes to, Oh, you mean uh, on 1.13? Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought you meant on existence. Like, yeah, broken. that's what I thought. <laughs> well, yeah, there's mob farms on the existence that have no. broken because of it. <laughs> So That's you mean, true. like, fundamentally, like, the concept of the server or the people on the server, not, <laughs> like, actual Minecraft mechanics. Yeah, there's actually, like, a war going on. We're all broken. <laughs> I was going to say, there's people that are broken, too, so. <laughs> yeah, like me. Jay broke. He finally posted a video. Well, he hasn't posted it yet, so let's not get too excited here now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's been numerous occasions where you have promised an episode, too. But now... Well, I mean, it's, it's computer, it's, like, melts down. <laughs> Oh, that would. Yeah, oh, do a Zipix no. and just, like, let your, your computer just, like, dies. Well, at I least his dog know. hasn't eaten it yet. <laughs> Whose dog ate the computer? No, ate his video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, eats his homework? I got so confused there for a second. I'm thinking, what on earth are you talking about? <laughs> oh, gosh. I completely lost my train of thought now. We we're talking about how it's going on the server. Oh, yeah. I was I was gonna speak, but <laughs> well, I'm, I'm busy eating. From my perspective, definitely I am like overjoyed with how phase two has like revived the state of what existence was in. Considering that we had like more than half of inactive members, like I think there hadn't been a video in a month or two from anyone. I I think Yogg was the last one to upload before we did. Yeah, because my computer, like, mm. kicked the bucket full on. And everyone was, like, just so down and just not feeling motivated or anything. But now it's, like, it's fantastic. It does scare me, though, every time I look over at, like, who's been uploading compared to who's on the server. And then I realize we have, like, just about more new members than we do previous members i think it's about half what have we got so we have talks monday tc and sandman and then one two three four five there's eleven six. total yeah so it's like a good chunk is new people and it keeps throwing me off i think why is nobody else posting but then i realize there's not really that many other people to post <laughs> yeah I mean, like for me, I've I've been busy, so I haven't been posting. But I mean, I, I see what you mean. How like a, a lot of people are posting, but it doesn't seem like that many because yeah. when we joined the the Discord, at least there were like four or five other members who just left. So yeah, sure well, when you guys it. all joined, it was like right in the um like the transition period when we were getting new people and also getting rid of old people. I shouldn't say getting rid of old people, but old people are the future. Are you calling me old now? <laughs> I was waiting for TC to say something. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, I will say, though, TC, I love, like, how um, when you joined the, like, average server age, like, increased. Because for a moment, like, we were getting younger and younger and younger in terms of the average age after, like, season one. And then, like, after everyone left during season two. Oh, I know. So, At one two. point, I think the average age was, like, 16. It was like, what? <laughs> oh, what God. even is the average age? Like, um, it must be around, like, 20. I'd, I'd say 19, 20. And then there's, like, TC is the outlier. We have to start calling you I Granddaddy. Miss Groover. Yeah, I miss Groover too. <laughs> Groover was great. Groover, another old member we had on season one, and we called him Granddaddy Groover. I don't even think Groover was that old. Or is that he old? He was in his 30s. Yeah, but we still called him Granddaddy Groover. 
<laughs> oh, I miss. You Kriva. call me Granddaddy, I'm gonna smack you, <laughs> Granddaddy. <laughs> Oh mm-hmm. gosh, but yeah, I, like TC was saying earlier um, about whenever we talk about phase two or people ask us about phase two, all it really seems to be is like members. People don't ever really seem to focus on how we have new members and lost new members or lost old members. But really phase two is, is a lot more than that. Getting new members is just kind of like building up the, the group again, just so we've got a good chunk of people on the server playing. I was going to say, I'm sure the change up of the membership is a lot less of a headache as the converting the server to 113 from 112 too. <laughs> yeah, mm. that, that was, <laughs> that was a big job and it didn't like help that I didn't have a computer either when I did that. So that made it a lot of fun. I had to do it on my brother's computer and on my family's desktop computer, which is absolutely just useless. It's probably about... 10 years old and you were using mc edit 2 weren't you yeah which i've never used before well i congratulate you in any shape or fashion whatever you want to call it because every time i try to use even mc edit 2 it doesn't even work with 113 no mc edit does not work with 113 and that is that is why it was um complicated (laughs) To do anything. That's why we updated to 1.13.1. And then after about a week, we rolled back to 1.12. In the sense that we rolled back to the 1.12 world to then re-update to 1.13. Oh, gosh, it was a mission. But, yeah, definitely... I I think I tried to even load 1.12 too, and I have missing blocks or missing textures or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's still missing, like, data and stuff. And they all say, like, future blocks and all of that but we, hey we got there in the end and it wasn't actually too difficult it just took a lot of testing and a lot of like figuring it out and plus mc2 keep crashing and not saving because it's technically still and, in beta and and you uh, still come up with the occasional glitch of hey i got a treasure map but there's no chest here because it's old terrain yeah well that's not so much <laughs> a glitch as a is a I can't think how you describe it, but that's well, it's, not... no, it's not an it's not a glitch. It's just the difference between new terrain and yeah, old between terrain. the new and the old because of the way that we deleted all the um. It's like every once in a chunks. while I'll be out exploring and I'll find a stone wall or something in the middle of nowhere. It's like what? It's like oh, this is the border between one twelve and one thirteen. <laughs> Have you found stone walls between the borders? Uh, on occasion, when I was looking for uh, Butcher Bob. <laughs> I'm just like, what on earth you found? I guess when I was out by where ISO or somebody was in the past. Oh, and do you mean like stone as in Drenner, stone stone Drenner. and not stone bricks? Yeah. I was thinking stone bricks for some reason. I'm thinking, have you found like half a stronghold? <laughs> no, not that I know of. <laughs> I did find uh, underwater ruins underneath of a of a water temple once i thought i found a stronghold and then i realized what it was <laughs> oh that's cool nice <laughs> but anyway going back to the whole phase two thing it, updating the world and new members are kind of probably the least um well while they're like a necessary thing more or less for like the new phase they're kind of just um like not the priority or not the biggest deal phase two is more really about just kind of um or has been about just getting existence back on its feet and getting things going again in terms of interaction and activity and all that and from that perspective definitely things have improved a lot since um, before phase two started definitely with um interaction and all that for sure Definitely. I occasionally run into somebody. I will say... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that's only happened once or twice for me, but... Uh, what I was going to say is, I feel like just in general, at even viewership and people watching the server has increased quite a bit too. Uh, if you just look at like the view counts on people's videos compared to what it was almost and what, what other series and stuff are. So I think that's cool to see. Hey, I gained a new sub last week. I was surprised. 
<laughs> nice. Congratulations. But um one I'm thing that up we... on 100. <laughs> one thing that we're still uh working on, I guess that we were um l- focusing or wanting to do with phase 2 was um the live streams which is coming back around to Jay. Hiya. <laughs> so um Jay I guess volunteered to um mm-hmm. to kind of how would you say this? Operate, run the live streams? Host. Host the live streams. That'll do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um the idea was to kind of just have like a regular stream thing. Um I think the idea kind of sprung up from um with some of the old members leaving who who wanted to like still be a part of the community we're like well we still can but we wanted to have a way for them to actually you know still you know hang out with us and uh and do things with us but the idea is really just to have some sort of a a weekly stream where we can just kind of hang out with the uh, community and hang out with old members and all that and probably just play mini games or whatever but Jay is the one who is in charge of that. I am indeed. <laughs> Would you like to tell us a little bit about your plans, Jay, or any ideas that you've had with it? Or how well, progress the, is going? At the moment, um, I'm waiting on people for, to more people to fill out the availability night sheet so we can figure out what time works best for everyone else. Um, and then once that's done, that's in the um, be... existence of Discord announcements, by the way. Should check that out. <laughs> Once that, <laughs> did I fill this one out? I don't remember. I filled out so many availabilities lately. <laughs> <laughs> or did uh, I miss this you one? Might have. <laughs> I'll check for you real quick. Um, <laughs> but w- once more people have uh, kind of gone through that and figured out when they're available, I will, will be choosing a date and then letting you guys know uh what weekday we'll stream on and then when the first one will be yeah and kind of what time that as well yeah so will this be like a multi-person like stream where multiple people are streaming or at least multiple people in a stream Um, i think it'll probably be multiple people in the stream with one person's probably jay or well jay if he's there streaming to the existence youtube account um and then just have like existence mm-hmm. members and one thing i was thinking about today actually is because with um the patreon for those who don't know we have a patreon to help pay for the server um we've actually had a few um extra pledges coming through mainly from members thank you monday thank you sp yeah, thank you welcome. tc <laughs> um but we've also had you know like um uh delta dragon good old delta dragon who was an old member as well, but is now not a member. He's also pledged to us. So we've had a few extra people come along and kind of um, help out with hosting server. And I was thinking there could be a way to um, kind of, I guess, give an, an extra thing to the patrons is probably to have them like in voice channels as well. I think that would work. Definitely. But with the Patreon, I mean, it's something that I don't really like promoting too much because i don't like asking for money it's only really kind of a nudge nudge kind of thing um Mm. but i think definitely it would be a better way to kind of encourage that is to have some sort of extra perk like that and i mean there's been talk and talk as well of like a community server but that's always been quite a touchy subject for me because I feel like community servers get or can be difficult sometimes. Oh, Especially. here it is. I found it. <laughs> well, yeah, they're definitely harder yeah. to manage because you have to moderate it for one and make sure nothing goes wrong. There's more people in and out and uh, there is issues with it. But yeah. if you have a, a good staff, it's good. Yeah, and you yeah. still need for pay to it'll pay for another server as exactly. well. Exactly. So. so that's I think mm-hmm. I think um the way I have the Patreon set up at the moment, with the goals, I'm pretty sure it's set so that there isn't even talk of a community server until the existence server is covered in cost. 
Yeah. Because, like, I'd be willing to essentially pay for another smaller server if the existing server had already been covered. Because otherwise the costs are basically just going to stack up again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the best way to go about it is set like a goal like fifty dollars or whatever, and if we reach this goal, then we'll start a server. Yeah. I think that's a better way to go about it than just starting one just because. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say because fifty would definitely uh, pay for both. Yeah, fifty would easily pay for both. We um, I like to be nice and transparent about costs and all that. The existing server um costs sixteen dollars US a month, which isn't too much, but um. Which we recently changed. Yes, that too. Uh, we have changed hosts <laughs> again. Um, I'm going to have to cough real quick. Please excuse me. Mute. <coughs> <No. laughs> Sorry. Man, this would take me half an hour to edit that out now. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we've changed hosts again. So I just want to quickly mention uh, WebSound. We all miss WebSound so much. Oh, yes, I don't miss WebSound. For any new members, WebSound was probably the best Minecraft host I've ever come across. They were cheap. Well, they were cheap for us because we had been with them for so long and they'd given us a big discount and kept our low price when they had to put theirs up and all this stuff, and their support was was amazing. Outside of the initial opening, weren't they, like, the very first off-site host we used um no we had another one i think it was like mc pro hosting or something and they were useless <laughs> they were absolutely terrible the server was horrible and lagged so much but I yeah, think MC, yeah pro hosting is like, one. <laughs> mc pro hosting is like the flagship minecraft hosting service that yeah. is basically like the mcdonald's of restaurants um so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. like McDonald's, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of better restaurants out there. Mm. Well, I can't remember when exactly we, we changed to WebSound, um, but they were so good. But unfortunately, they discontinued their Minecraft hosting services. I'm guessing it just wasn't profitable. Um, but they were just, oh, they were so cool to us and they were so helpful. And they even sponsored the um, uh, two year anniversary and gave us like a free server for. Um, the public server and for the UHC. But, um, oh, wow. Yeah, after they discontinued their Minecraft services, we changed over to Apex, Apex Hosting. And they were pretty good for the most part. Um, they The prices weren't too bad, and the server worked okay. And he could panel say, I don't stuff. know how much of the, the latest issues were Apex or 113, that I couldn't tell you. Um... Well, the problems that I had with Apex and the reason why I've um, cancelled our server with them was really just the support. Um, They were great in the beginning and really helpful at the start, but as time went on and I had a few issues, especially with Phase 2 and the update into 1.13, they just... they, They didn't really seem to be that willing to help, and I think it came back to the fact that they have or offer premium support which I hate. I hate it when places offer premium support. Like, come on, just help people. As someone who works in retail, you always, like, I know you always put customers first, and I know it's a dumb saying, but it is so true. Um, Premium support is just, it's the worst, honestly. They keep using it as, like, a defense. Every time I'd be like, oh, could you do this for me? Or is this possible to do this? They go, oh, you'd need premium support to do that, which costs, like, an extra few dollars a month or something. I don't want a $10 hamburger. I just want to go to Maccas. (laughs) (laughs) But um, I think the things that kind of wound me up with them most um, was they keep, like, treating me as if I didn't know what I was talking about. Like, for example, one of the issues... when we first changed over the Apex um, to Apex, we had to upload our, our world, which was over a gigabyte in size, maybe two, I can't remember what it was at that point. Um, luckily, I know one of the um, Apex developers from Game Mode 4, um, or at the time, I'm not sure if they're still with Apex or not, and they were able to just manually extract all our files. So when I updated to 1.13, I had to re-upload the world again, and... Um, that developer wasn't around to help out at the moment or at the time. So I emailed Apex and was like, hey, could you do this for me? Um, I've had someone do it before me before. And I just need you guys to do it for me again. And they went, no, 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 we can't do that. La, la, la. you got to upload it through this and this. And this is how you connect to FTP. And this is what FTP is. And 
um, what that person did to you before was a favor, and for us to do it, you'd need premium support and rah di rah And they basically just treated me as if I didn't know what I was talking about and just kept asking me that I had to get premium support and just wouldn't help me in any way. And I had to keep explaining to them on a very tight schedule. I don't have my own computer and I had to do this. And I'm, I'm pretty sure at one point I was up to like 11 p.m. when I had work the next day trying to like get the server uploaded. Because I had to do it all manually. And I think I just ended that ticket with a very passive aggressive thank you and goodbye. Because I just, they just, everything I asked them to help me with, they just didn't want to hear it. Just didn't offer any solutions. Just told me to upload it all myself it and, buttercup yeah pretty much or buy premium support um and we kind of just live with that and we got everything sorted in the end anyway and it was like okay well sure you know i needed them to do something that normally they wouldn't do so all good um oh i've got to mention with 1.12 going to 1.13 as well you have to run that little force upgrade command through the server console um, which when we first updated to 1.13, they did not a problem, which was all good. And I was pretty happy with that support. But then when we had to do it again, um, cause we decided to reprocess the world, they said, no, we can't do it again. That was a favor that we did for you. You'd have to process it all through your client and then upload all the files manually. But of course to do that, I'd have to do it all individually and i couldn't do a compressed file and they wouldn't unzip it so it was like everything was stacking on top of each other uh it's, they were just so irritating about how they wouldn't do things they'd done before and just keep money to buy premium support but yeah, hey so long story is short we're not with apex anymore <laughs> well <laughs> i just want to mention the real the last one more thing because after all that phase two stuff we kind of put it behind us and just keep going with apex not a problem but the the tipping point or the last straw um most of you were probably there for that is oh when, yeah when we wanted to start on the aquatic outpost the the day that we all planned to do the aquatic outpost remember um, that oh yeah we, the server went down <laughs> yeah we were about to start recording and about to start working on it and all of a sudden the server just shut down and it shut off and I went to the console panel and it said, your server has been suspended. <laughs> Just out of the blue, out of nowhere, no warning, no nothing. We had paid all the invoices, everything was fine. And it just got shut off and it said it was suspended. So I, I sent thought them it was in, getting migrated. Yeah, I sent them an urgent ticket and said, hey, you just suspended our server for no reason. Why? <laughs> and they replied with saying something like, um, oh, your server has, uh, in the process of changing nodes, we will, um, it will be back online shortly. So I sent them a very, very passive aggressive email and it said, it would have been nice to tell us that you were going to shut our server down and change our IP address with some warning. And it was just <laughs> at that point I went, no, no more. I'm not putting up with this anymore. And, um, about a month later, we have changed over to Cube Toast. Which I wish we'd done yeah. sooner because we've been with them for what, a, a day or two now? Yeah. yeah. And honestly, straight away, their support has just been amazing. Um, I sent them the same kind of message again saying, hey, we've just had to upload our whole server file, which is 2.2 gigabytes, I think. Um, is it possible for you guys to unzip it? I've had it done in the past with another server before, as I know that the FTP can't process it, righty, righty, rah. But actually, it turns out their FTP, um, which is file transfer protocol for anyone who doesn't know that term, um, it can extract large files. So I had to send them another message to be like, hey, your service is amazing. It's all done and sorted. No need to worry. And then they replied back and they're like, hey, all good to hear. Just checking to make sure your server is all good now. And I went, yes, it is. Thank you. And they said, awesome. Would love to um hear from you again and i was like oh so sweet so touched by this <laughs> yeah. i just know from what little i've been on i haven't had the herky jerky what the heck is going on issues like before. yeah that's another thing i've yeah, noticed the server's actually yeah. been running better than it did on apex like if yeah. you would have watched the video at the end with the sheep that would like jump up and down and then stop for a second and then they start jumping again and stop for a second it's like what is going on yeah so well, was... the only issue i've had is with mining where i'm mining and stuff just starts to reappear sort of like ghost oh, box yeah. rubber yeah. banding 
Yeah. It might be a connection thing, though, possibly. Is that on the new server? No, that was on the old server. Oh, okay. Yeah, but... I, I haven't really been on this server since we updated that much. So. Yeah, well, yeah I've, had had it, I've had it once or twice, but it's usually when I'm like speed doing something anyway. <laughs> the server, from my perspective, because I've, I've been checking in on the RAM usage and CPU, it does seem to be actually processing better than it was in terms of especially RAM, because previously we were using like 100% RAM all the time, and now it's, I mean, it's still high because 1.13 is so poorly optimized. Um, but it seems to That's be running better. That's what Optifine better. is for. Not for servers. <laughs> 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 but anyway, so Not yes, we are, we're servers. with um, we're with Cubed, um, Cubed host at the moment, and thanks to our uh, good old Miles Pernicious, we have got twenty five percent off for the first month. So if you, you are looking him? for a server, Miles Pernicious or Pernicious, is that what it's? I always call him Pernicious. No, that's completely wrong. I can assure you. I might be saying it wrong, but that's completely <laughs> wrong. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I think Miles. some Hermitcraft members have got like promo codes, but we thought we'd support Miles anyway. Um, old member of existence and um, fantastic streamer over on Mixer. But yeah, here's a promo code for his um, his server, and uh, yeah, so um, we got a little discount for our first month. And um, at yeah. the moment, I mean, we could just be having the honeymoon spot at the moment with with cubed host um and their amazing support but from what i've seen so far they definitely seem pretty good but uh if we do have so any problems i know a hermit crashed is on them too yeah so they're pretty well known and pretty well built up i see yeah. they do offer premium support as well <laughs> <laughs> but uh i think i know they take from uh oh what is it called now where the funds come from paypal paypal oh yeah so that was weird with apex for some reason i don't know if it was an apex problem or a paypal problem or what but all of the patron funds were going into my paypal and then all the invoices would come out of my paypal but it wouldn't actually take my paypal balance it would charge directly to my bank account even though it's meant to take it from paypal first so I'm not sure what happened there, but now since we've changed hosts, maybe it's just because we've got a new invoice running or something. It actually is taking the uh, the Patreon money, which had built up uh, to a little little stack over the past um, few months of pledges. But now it's actually taking from it, thank goodness. And again, I like to be nice and transparent, so um, all the Patreon kind of and PayPal details are actually posted in the Patreon only channel um, on the uh, Existence Community server. But yeah, so things mm-hmm. since we've changed have been running a nice and smoothly with the server. Gosh, Barely. I've rambled so much. Okay, I, like I hate to be off straight. topic, but <laughs> I hate to be off topic. But uh, Jay's video just released. <gasps> Did it? <laughs> yeah, I had Dragon uh, posted on Content Share. Yeah, oh, I saw yeah. that. That's why I got a ping. Yeah, right, because Jay. a non-existence member posted an existence member video in content share rather than existence video. Jay, we give you permission to excuse yourself for a moment to post your video in the uh, community server. <laughs> this is, this is like, such why a, am I a big a moment. This is a big moment for existence right now. And for Jay. Jay, you should be very proud. I'm throwing rice. I was throwing rice. <laughs> oh gosh. Has anyone actually worked on the aquatic outpost since we started it? Um, I'm I don't know. You know, I, yeah, I, I was going to work on it, is. but I've been so busy. <laughs> yeah, I know but Sandman man has. Oh yeah, so Sandman did. Can we just do whatever now with it in terms of the style that we worked? I guess like, so, chose yeah. or not? I think really the key thing that we wanted to do with the Aquatic Outpost was kind of just, well, initially we just wanted to start, like, get the ball rolling kind of thing and get all, like, the uh, the main boardwalk built. Um, but now I think it's kind of just, yeah, free-for-all and um, just building up buildings and just, I guess, making it a central hub for the oceans and the world as well, because it is the spawn point. So we could, you know, make it a little, kind of little um, mini town kind of thing, but... A new I think... PVB. 
<laughs> at the end of the day, I think it's going to be hard to probably try and actually focus on the aquatic outpost all the time because what can we really put there without making Another it like clown. a well, yeah. Oh, I had a little brainwave. <gasps> Jay just posted Bing. his video. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bing. We could make the aquatic outpost a marketplace. That, that'd be kind of cool. Like yeah. with little like boardwalks and jetties and all that. <laughs> what well, I awesome. thought that like a big the reactions. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like I just looked at it. The reactions are just popping up. There's like eight reactions, <laughs> nine reactions already. It's just I already like, wow. commented on the video. So <laughs> really, <laughs> yeah. You better read that comment out loud. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll pull it up. So oh, everyone, everyone, be sure to go check out Jay's episode two. <laughs> yep, right now. Stop watching this podcast. <laughs> you have our permission. <laughs> Only if you come back here, though. Jay, would you like to read us the comment from Telx? Uh, yeah, one moment. I'm pulling it up now. <laughs> <laughs> what a special moment to be witnessed during this podcast. I don't know. It's not. Yogurt a says, movie, but... Welcome back, Jay. Telx says, Holy Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Episode two is up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> And part two of the episode's about to go up as Wait, well. Wait, what? what? Part two? Parts... two? There, what? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Why don't you just label it episode three and then be really awesome? <laughs> I, I have it labeled as 2.5. <laughs> That's as as not 8.5. No. <laughs> 0. 0.5 episodes <laughs> never end well. I can tell you from experience. <laughs> well, my most recent episode, I thought about naming it a 0. 0.5 and I was like, nope. Not gonna do it. <laughs> Just make it another episode. It's so easy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Even if it's only ten minutes long, it doesn't matter. Mm. Didn't uh, Chrismon upload like a five minute episode? A Chrismon is strange, and he knows it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mister, and that is why an avocado is a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> why don't we go to the sun at night so the sun doesn't burn us? <laughs> You know, I do that. <laughs> that I, I'll never forget a joke when I was younger was, um, oh my gosh, Jay, why, why do you do this to us? Um, was if the, uh, if we're suffering from global warming, why don't we just shoot water rockets at the sun to cool it down? <laughs> Classic. That was literally like, I must have been. <laughs> 10 or something when that was a joke and now jokes are just like haha Thanos Johnny Johnny <laughs> Fortnite default dance <laughs> they used to be sophisticated <laughs> for a 10 year old <laughs> oh gosh well done Jay well done for episode 2 and 2.5 I'm gonna watch them immediately after this podcast Nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it, but I'll at least give it a thumbs up. If so <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, is ESP still here? He's not. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's watching Jay's video. Yeah, I am. can't blame him. <laughs> oh gosh, I love Phase Two. It's I'm so happy with how things are going. I love messing with Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your watch your next also... episode. <laughs> Actually, no, two episodes from now. <laughs> oh gosh! I wonder what things will be like this time next year. Because honestly, I have no idea what because ha- things are going to change so much for me next year. I just don't know how that's going to affect existence. Well, how'd you think it was going to be two and a half years ago when all this started? Oh gosh, knows. <laughs> I mean, this time two years ago, we must have been, yeah, because we had the Christmas live stream event, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Gosh, that was a while ago. The growth of existence from the beginning was so exponential from when we started to like six months after we started, it just went pew, shot up so quickly. Noom. <laughs> <laughs> 
Gosh, I can't believe we're coming up on three years next year. It's going to reopen Christmas Village? We could. Did somebody take the tree? It's gone. No, there was never a tree at the Christmas Village. There was a tree in town that me and Sky built. Gosh, that was a year ago. Oh my gosh. Well, there was a trunk <laughs> of a tree there in the middle of a frozen lake like somebody burned it down. Yeah, oh, we were going to build one there, but then we decided to build one in town. I can't believe that was nearly a year ago that me and I Sky did that. watching that episode. Gosh, that was... Ooh, ee. time has gone very quickly. <laughs> Monday and Sam, man, and I found it. I'm here, like, <laughs> shouting at you guys, and I realized my microphone was muted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. A classic mistake. Classic. You know, I do that, like, every time I talk to you guys. And, oh my gosh, there's people actually doing work on the Nether Hub. I'm so proud. Yes, I see that. Who's Thank actually you. working? Is Squirrel. that Jay building? I've, yeah, I've still been expanding the tunnels, y'all came um, Yeah, the only thing is, is we need to make sure we, like, label things, because yeah. it's so confusing. And move the sea lanterns. Are you crazy? Yeah, the sea lanterns are moved up. Actually, oh, yeah, good. they moved... Like, yeah, 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 yeah moved up into the ceiling. I'm so happy <laughs> to hear that. your head on them? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can yep. finally sprint up through there. Something I've always wanted... Can you still get on top of the nether? I think yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there's new tricks to do it, but it's not like there's, it used to be. Oh, there's okay. still a hole up to, I guess, a broken gold farm or something up there. Oh, yeah, of course, we've still got a hole because we're from 1.12. Wow, you guys have done a lot of work at the uh, Aquatic Outpost. I haven't seen I've it really since there. I was there last. Hey, it's anyway, Hulks. So <laughs> I haven't really been on, so I'm just sort of amazed at how much like <laughs> stuff is here. <laughs> Something I've always wanted to do in the Nether with Nether Hubs is make maps on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So like with Ooh. lines and all that. You know how, like, if you think like a railway network. How, or like a bus line or something, how they have those maps with all the roads and all the lines and everything. I've always wanted to do something like that on the top of the nether hub or the top of the nether, so that way all the like pathways and stuff are marked with like coloured wool and stuff. Does that work? I think it does. Perhaps. I'm, I have I'm, no idea. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> so go... Go to I the top of the ceiling and then make lines with coloured wool and make a map like an like oh, an like, like, so that way all you see like, is the lines and the labels. Okay, I made like it. Above, I made a very above, big mistake. Bedrock. Yeah. Okay. Well, it it, I it makes sense. No then. idea how to do Bank. maps in the Nether. I'm pretty sure you just make a normal map and it just looks grey because of all the bedrock on the ceiling. I wanted to do it on season one with um Kaney's Reedy Railroads project. I wanted to make big wool or clay lines in the very top of the world and then that way you could see all the railroad lines on the map but i toyed with that on a test world but yeah it makes big shadows really and it looks up. a bit odd <laughs> looks even worse than meat snakes colored glass now did a colored glass glass show up on maps i'm pretty sure the aurora showed up on the town map oh yeah it does <laughs> Quick question. When I say glass compared to glass, which one sounds normal? Glass. glass. Really? Glass. Glass. <laughs> glass. So if, I Coming out against, glass. if I go against my accent and say glass, that sounds normal you sound to you. Weird. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. But if I say glass, does that sound normal? Yeah. No, stick it with, doesn't. Glass. Stick with, <laughs> stick with glass. But it sounds normal to me. So like normal, it sounds normal coming from me, but if I say glass, it sounds it doesn't. No, it doesn't no. sound normal coming from you. <laughs> okay, I have it a more. I, I have a more important question: Is it pillow or is it pillow? Pillow. It's pillow. 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 It's a pillow. It's got an I, not an E. Who says pillow? Like <laughs> Obviously, pelts. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Or is it oil or oil? Oil. O oil? oil. oil or oil? <laughs> oil. oil. Well, I could go to my roots and just tell you to put a little water in your radiator. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did you even just say a sentence then, or was it just a whole big mumble? I understood. Sentence. I understood it. Wouldn't, wouldn't... I'm from Maryland originally. No idea where that is. 
It's where? close to this Maryland. Maryland. Oh, Maryland, yeah. <laughs> That's where I was originally from, but my parents moved there early. Anyway, this is getting to be pretty long. <laughs> yeah. TC's is old. We get it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> my battery's died. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, but all right. Well, should we wrap things up here? Um, yeah. Right. Sure. Another great podcast. Thank you guys for uh, for coming along to this recording, and thank you all of your viewers for for the continuous support throughout season two. Be sure yes, to yeah. um, if you're still watching or listening to this point, be sure to let us know down below in the comments if you uh, have any more ideas or feedback about the Patreon. Anything we could do to um, kind of as better rewards. Or just if you have any questions about existence in general, be sure to let us know. Everybody left to watch Jay's video. Just yeah, go go watch Jay's video if you haven't. No, already. but at this point they would be back, wouldn't they? Because like we all agreed to uh to, to, to yeah, they uh, agreed what do you to call come it? back. Yeah, just they agreed watching. to come back after they they watched. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyway, let's uh we'll sign off here. My name has been McPitch Pies, joined by Jay, SB, TC, Telks, and the Mundane. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys all for coming. Bye. I'll see you later. Later. Yep. Bye -bye. See ya. Take care. See ya.